some water. I'll take some too. Still not. <laughs> All right. All right, we're gonna start on P2. Uh, and right now, Eli already relying on the trades to get out of these scenarios. Ooh. Yeah, Tony having a whole plan. He's like, nah, I know what you're gonna do now. Oh, you're gonna die. It's what you're gonna do. That's crazy. That that is one thing. Like, th there wasn't that many options that that Eli could have done right there. He pretty much trapped him. Oh, oh my God! The shield poke is gonna happen. All right, good, good aggressive over mount me for for Eli. No bad dash attack, and now Tony is really playing the whip punish game. Compared to that last set, from what we were seeing, we saw that 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 Tony was getting a little impatient. Eli was using Nikita a whole lot more, and he kept taking him to Smashville. Wow, what a setup right there. Dude, Nikita barely over the ledge, so he covered jump and regular getup, but had the down smash ready to charge. He only had one single option to get out of that scenario. Good back here, and that was a, uh, a getup attack, but he didn't do it. But right now, Tony having one whole stock up right here. Eli's gonna have him make a, he's, he's gonna have to make a play at this point. Yeah, edge guards, some up smash here and there, another. Like, I feel in this matchup, like, Snake wants to use a lot of up smashes and Nikita's when it comes to the edge guarding. Covering, like, making Ness a little bit threatened and kind of respects Snake a bit more. C4. Oh, I'll put the C4 on him at that point. Oh, here we go. This is what Eli wants. What? The one time he didn't down smash. But the up tilt. Oh, the back throw. I kind of want to see Eli take one more stock. And to Thunder. All right, tries to, he tried to call out Eli throwing out the C4. I forgot Ness can absorb up smash. Another C4. Ness is not going to absorb those. Another C4. Oh, clutch air dodge from, from Tony. Oh, my God. That was a bad down there. And Tony knew and is going to take it with a two stock right there. All right, I'm going to assume he is banning Smashville because everyone in the venue was dying, saying that, yo, why are they taking Eli to Smashville? So we're most likely going to go to small battlefield if we're not going to go. Good stage choices, by the way. <laughs> oh, man. Uh oh. Is that my guy is salt? Uh, am I audible now? Can people hear, uh, hear me? you yeah, now. You hear me now. Hey guys, uh, I am joining you here. For a second, I thought that was BBC Tony Pagalas. Uh, yo, <laughs> <laughs> so already like, started with the toxic acronyms. It's <laughs> like, nah, hold up. We're saying some explicit things here. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yo, Matt, if I see somebody with some, with that acronym as a sponsor, I'm roasting, bro. What if they're just sponsored by the British Broadcasting System? Listen, man. I mean, you got a good point. You got a good point. <laughs> I can't even get mad. All right. So here we are. Alone. How did, uh, how did Alone the last this. game um, go? Tony won game one with a dominant, with a, with a two-stock. He was giving Eli a really hard time on how he was going to approach and really capitalizing on Eli's di uh, disadvantage right there. Yeah. It feels like the people that are good at Snake is kind of what they do. Also, one thing that we already are seeing, back at side magnet. Oh, oh my god. god. Uh, he is side. mad right now. Yeah, dude, this is the run back. Oh, did uh, Eli knock him? Yeah, they, these two played. I forgot what round they played, but it was somewhere in top eight that Eli barely took the set and it was a 2 1. So now this is the run back from Tony and Eli today in losers finals. And the winner of this set is going Ooh. to be playing. Oh my god. Eli with these wild four smashes again. I the mean, winner, if that had worked. The winner of this set plays um, Mr. L in Grand Finals. Uh oh, PK Fire Angles? Nah, we're not going to do that. Oh, I oh my this. god, how do I come back? <laughs> you just don't! Oh my god! Right, he barely got it. That was a sour spot, luckily. I he mean, a sour died. spot, I feel like it still did like 25%. Did it really? I, I took a lot of damage. Even I've never seen sour. sour spot hit with that move. 
because I always see like the actual sweet spot. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. my god. I mean, soon. <laughs> this is Ness. Ness is so freaking consistent. Mind you, this is Eli's second. Well, now he's on his last dog. And Tony with a dominant down low compared to the last set that they was playing. Yeah, I mean, I'm, like like you said, it feels like the big thing is that he's putting him in slight disadvantage and just keeping him there. Yeah, yeah. Right. Wow, barely, barely had a time to DI right there with that up tilt. But this this could be a game changer right there. Eli had, he took, he almost got three stock by Mr. L. He just did 60% in like Yeah, half I, I was going to mention that. Whenever Eli takes that first stock, that's when his momentum builder starts kicking in. Did he get? Did he get and he got C4. Yeah, yeah oh. and he got C. Oh, now nah, he got out of him now. The oh. one time he actually could have had the chance, and now he is. Spam <laughs> he is spamming well, a lot of his How does C4 interact with um, Simon? He can absorb it. Ah! That was, that was so, so smart. smart. Oh my god. Big brains for Tony Pajamas right there, ladies and gentlemen. That was freaking. So he had the C4 still on him. He double jumped into yeah, Eli. That knowing was Eli was going to push it, he's like, I can take this hit. I got two stops. <laughs> Eli's smirking you know. a little bit. He's like, you know what? I can't even get mad at that. I can't get mad. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, finally. That was on my I fault. <laughs> He probably got to get off the set later on, like, that was not my fault. I can't even get mad. I don't, I don't know. Just like imagining, like, ha finally. I have you as, I, I like, you know, the, the bomb is planted. Just walks up. It's just right next to him. That just was. stares at him while right. I'm like. That was rough. Because Eli had oh, absolutely no choice. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. <laughs> Cypher. Got time to lose. Yeah. Cypher saving his skin right there. And this game looking a lot better than the last two. Eli actually having a bit of a lead here. And Oh, oh yeah. But still getting, well, it was getting juggled now. I can't say anything anymore. Oh my god, what a tomahawk, what a waveland tomahawk from Tony. Almost gets the actual hit, but the, he just angles it a bit wrong. And now Eli looking like he's trying to go, never mind. I can't say anything, I'm just gonna let him play. Oh, so wow. yeah. Oh, he like, I think he let go at the wrong time. No, I think that, it, isn't it that the, uh, if the grenade hits, right? Nah, the grenade has he, a tiny that's gonna absorb it. But like if the grenade has a hitbox itself, right? It doesn't it, make you flinch. It doesn't make you flinch at nah. all. So like, if you know like the snake map, yeah, the thing with the with snake is that if he pulls out grenade, say like if he if he throws it at your face, you don't flinch at all. As long as it doesn't explode, you don't flinch. But so like that's, if a character's in a, the middle of a move, it will cancel that yeah. animation. Of the most move. of the yeah, that's most what I'm saying. Time, is that, yeah. So I think that for side magnet. Oh, I get that, what you right? mean. Yeah, but even then, side magnet doesn't even do it because it just absorbs the whole grenade. But I'm saying if the hit itself yeah. connected, right, it would cancel the animation for side B, and then the explosion would hit. No, I've still. I've seen that it will still it will still absorb it. That's what I'm saying. In that scenario, oh. he well, just let go of the side. But if it's magnet. thrown at him. Yeah. If a C so if a grenade gets thrown at Ness while he's charging uh -huh. PK side, uh, PK side mag, yeah. whatever the hell, uh, people still absorb it. Okay, I want to. Yeah, he can still. Check. Yeah, I've seen that. I've done it myself. I've seen high level snakes throw it at Ness. Like he, even if you throw it at him and he's holding it with the first initial hitbox, Ness can still absorb that entire grenade because it doesn't make Ness flinch at all. See, like the grenade, the the whole grenade was right in his face and he just absorbed it. Okay, I mean, actually, I may want to talk to Tony after the set right. to find out. Um, ooh, ooh. They're playing a little bit of foot footsies right here. But what I was saying the last game is that in this matchup, Snake wants to kind of use Nikita a lot more than normally to edge guard Ness and to kind of maneuver around, but maneuvers around the get up attack hitbox and punishes it with the up tilt, taking a little bit of notes from MVD in that Kamehameha set right there. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, he's using a lot more anti-airs right now. You, you, you keep jumping in my face. Let me show you why you want to be in the air against me. Oh, my. He's just going for these PK Thunders <laughs> in, like, kooky situations. And it's not easy, too, in this matchup. Like, getting around PK Thunder, even the tail hitbox, is so irritating at the Snake Man. Oh, wow. The yo-yo and the clean 3-0 from Tony Pajamas right there. What redeeming his, yeah. Redeeming the guy that beat him in bracket. That forced him into losers, and now he's.